If you want to get the highest quality image possible in your home theater, you need to not only buy a high quality piece of equipment, but you need to then have that piece of equipment calibrated, whether it's a projector or a TV. You can go out and get that done professionally, provided you live in an area where that's available and you have the money to spend on something like that. But if those two options aren't there for you, you're kind of stuck doing it on your own. And while that may seem like a daunting task, it really isn't. And I'm gonna walk you through in this series of videos how to calibrate your projector or your TV to get the most out of it. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do this with spending very little to no money. And you're gonna get roughly 70 to 80% of the positive gains you would get of getting it professionally calibrated. If you wanna see how to do that, then stay tuned and watch my series of videos about calibrating your home theater projector or TV. So stick with me. So here today in this video, this is the very first episode of my calibration series for your projector or TV. And while I'm not going to get into any actual calibration in this video, I'm going to lay out a few basic things. What is a calibration, why we calibrate things, and just some very base level items you're going to need to calibrate your system down the road. You may be wondering like, well, why do we want to do that? What's, what's the point? Essentially, in the most basic terms, Calibrating your TV or your projector is just trying to get it in line with a certain set standard. You're wanting to get the settings of your TV or your projector to a set standard so that the image it produces on the screen is going to be as closely aligned with what the content is supposed to show. Now, why do we want to do this? Is because every piece of equipment, TV or projector, and every space that that piece of equipment is going to be in, so your living room, your theater room, whatever, has different characteristics and properties, and it's not uniform across the board. So what you're trying to do is just go through and change these settings to meet a set standard so that everything falls in line. Now, like I said, this may seem like it's a daunting task. It may seem like this is way too complicated for any normal person to do, but it's really not. It's fairly simple once you kind of do some trial and error and you know figure it out you can always reset your projector or your tv so if you feel like you mess something up you can always go in and reset everything and then start over so you can trial and error and kind of learn along the way but that's more for when we get into the calibration what i'm going to talk about here today is mainly the equipment you're going to need to do the calibration. So the main piece of equipment that you're gonna need to do a calibration on your projector or your TV, outside of obviously having the projector or the TV to calibrate, because you're not gonna be able to do it if you don't have one of those, is a calibration disc or a way to actually produce the test patterns that we're gonna use later on to actually calibrate everything. Now one little point before I get into too much of the specifics about these calibration options and discs is that you may think you need the highest quality version of these calibration discs or calibration patterns to actually get the best image quality on your projector or your TV. Honestly, that's not the case. If you have a TV or a projector that's got HDR 4K content, you're obviously going to want to calibrate that with a disc that's going to reproduce those patterns. But if you're doing just a standard 1080p display, whether it's a projector or TV, the DVD or the Blu-ray disc will get you there. You don't have to buy the latest, greatest, most expensive item. You can buy a lower quality one and still get that level of calibration out of it. So don't think you have to buy the most expensive thing. You don't have to. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the options that you can find to actually calibrate your piece of equipment. So first and foremost, you can go out and you can buy a dedicated calibration disc. And there's multiple calibration discs out there that you can buy from various manufacturers. The ones you're gonna see most common, there's uh, one called Digital Video Essentials. It's not the most popular one, but you can find that. That is a dedicated disc you can use. You'll also find Disney World of Wonder or Disney Wow. That's another disc produced by Disney some years ago 
that's dedicated for calibration of your TV or projector. That's another one you can find out in the wild. But the most common one you're gonna find nowadays is some version of this. This is the Spears and Munsell HD benchmark disc. And if you've watched any of my recent projector videos, you'll see clips from this calibration disc. You'll see uh, Big Buck Bunny, you'll see DTS Living World, you'll see like the color space and chroma screens. Uh, all that stuff was taken from the Spears and Munsell calibration disc. That's all loaded here on the disc for you to use. Now this disc comes in a few different versions. There's this one, which is probably gonna be the most common one you're gonna find out there. This is the Blu-ray version, and these range in price quite a bit. I've seen them as high as $50, $60 on some sites, and I've seen them as low as about 20. I've also seen some cheaper than that on eBay, but they have no pictures and no descriptions. So if you buy one of those, do so at your own risk. I don't know what you're gonna get. The cheapest one I saw with an actual picture to verify it was this item was about $20, which at $20 is a fair price uh, for this. Anything more than that, you know, $20, $25, I think is a bit of a stretch. I don't think you need to spend that much money on one of these, but that's the Blu-ray version. Uh, but you'll also see a more recent release of a 4K UHD version of this. Uh, and that's also going to range about $50, $60. I haven't really seen it any cheaper than that. Any one of those options would be decent enough to use. But like I said, the Blu-ray is going to be one of the most common that you'll find out there. Now, if you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on one of those dedicated calibration discs, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to. There's other avenues you can take to find good quality calibration discs for your setup. For example, this is just a very basic, uh, nondescript home theater test and setup disc. I have really no clue who manufactures this. This just says channel 100 on the back. I actually found this brand new sealed at a thrift store for like 50 cents <laughs> several years back. But even finding a disc like this will get all the basic calibrations we're gonna do in the following videos, will get done on this. So even finding something like this out there is a good option it'll get the job done of what we're trying to do. Now, before I get into the free options or like the semi-free options, depending on what equipment you have at home. So back in the day, a lot of DVDs had a very bare bones, basic level calibration system built into the discs with what they called the THX optimizer. And for example, I've got this Tron 20th anniversary DVD. I believe this was produced in the early 2000s, like 2001, 2002, somewhere in that range. And you'll know it's on there because it says it's THX certified on the disc. And on the back, it'll say THX certified. And sometimes in the actual uh, little description, it'll say THX optimizer. Now, if you find one of these or already have one of these in your collection, you can use that THX optimizer to go through all the steps that we're gonna talk about in later videos to calibrate your TV or your projector. And like I said, you can find these not only on a lot of Disney discs, but you can also find them on like 20th Century Fox, Lucasfilm. Again, if you find ones that say THX mastered, uh, like this one, this is just my uh, Star Wars special edition DVD set. I talked about that in one of my Why I Own It, so I'll link that above. But this also has a THX optimizer in it. So you just need to check, because if you have especially one of these Disney or 20th Century Fox discs, I'm gonna go out on a limb, especially if it's an older DVD or an older run Blu-ray, you're probably gonna have a better chance than not that one of them has a THX optimizer on it. And while it won't give you all the like chroma and some of the more detailed stuff, it'll definitely be good enough to get all your basic settings in line to get you a quality image. So that is another option to look at, to either buy for cheap, or you may already have one of them in your collection that you may not have even known had that setting on there. So just keep an eye out for that. So with those options kind of out of the way, I'm gonna talk about some free options or as close to free as you can get depending on your setup. If you can see behind me, I've got the AVS HD 709 calibration screen up on my projector screen up there. Now, if you're not familiar with this, this is actually a open source, uh, free to download calibration software that was produced kind of independently by users on the AVS forum. And this thing originally started its life back in like 2007. I actually downloaded this version and burned it to a disc 
in like 2010. So I've had the disc that's running right now for close to 15 years. That forum post and that forum thread with all these files are still available to download. So if you have a DVD burner or a Blu-ray burner, you can go on the link that I'm gonna have listed below and download the actual AVS HD 709 calibration disc and burn it onto an actual DVD or Blu-ray. On that forum, it goes into a lot more detail than I'm gonna get into in this video, but it tells you all the different formats you can download from standard DVD to a high quality DVD, which is the version I've got, and also Blu-ray versions. And it'll tell you what players should play it and what kind of equipment or disc you would need to burn that. So depending on whether or not you have a computer with a DVD burner, or a Blu-ray burner on it, and you know, a blank disc to burn, this could be free. Now, if you need to go out and buy a Blu-ray burner or a DVD burner and a pack of blank discs to burn on there, because they're not as prevalent nowadays as they were even back in 2010 when I did mine, chances are at that point, unless you find stuff used like at a garage sale or online for dirt cheap, you're better off buying an actual studio produced disc, whether it's one of the Disney discs or something like that that I just spoke about, or buying an actual calibration disc if you're wanting an actual disc-based format. Uh, so if you have the equipment and everything just lying off to the side that you could do this, this is a great option. And this is what I used for years prior to buying my Spears and Munsell disc. And I only bought the Spears and Munsell when I actually built out my very first version of this home theater because I felt like, oh, I need to get a much higher quality calibration disc. But in reality, they're relatively the same. The only difference that you get on the actual Spears and Munsell disc that you don't get on this is the demonstration material. So like I said, the Big Buck Bunny, the DTS Living World, the HD montage, all that sort of stuff is not included. But the actual calibration test patterns and all that sort of stuff, this disc will do you just fine. So I would definitely recommend, even over buying something like the Spears and Munsell, if you've got the equipment to actually download and burn one of these discs, just download one of these HD uh, files and just burn it to a disc. Now, last but not least, if you're not wanting to spend any money and you don't already have a disc like a Disney disc or a 20th Century Fox or something that has the built-in THX optimizer. You can also go one other route to get free calibration patterns. The HD 709 benchmark that's up behind me. Years ago, well after it had already been in the forums and made available for people to download for free, has been uploaded to YouTube. So all the basic calibration patterns are listed on YouTube in a playlist that I'm gonna have linked here. So if you really wanted to go about this completely free and not have to actually buy any burnable media or buy an official disc, you could just use the calibration patterns from the HD 709 that are listed here on YouTube. Now, the only catch with that, of course, is you have to have internet, obviously, to play it. And you have to have either an app on one of your Blu-ray players or an Xbox or PlayStation or something that can pull the patterns up, or you have to connect a laptop or a computer to your projector to get these patterns pulled up on there. If as long as you have some way of doing that, you could go the totally free route and just put these patterns up from the playlist I'm gonna link below. And they're gonna be good enough quality to at least get done what you need to do. And it's everything from the basic calibration section that's on this disc that you could download and burn for yourself. So if you don't wanna spend any money and you don't happen to have a THX optimized disc with the optimizer on it, you could definitely go this route and just use these YouTube patterns and not even have to spend any money. That's gonna wrap up this first video where I just, I wanted to talk about the calibration discs and test patterns you could get to actually do a calibration. With that, be on the lookout. I'm gonna have more of these coming out relatively soon. I'm gonna try and get them all up uh, here in the next you know couple weeks. I'm gonna go into each step and I'm gonna break each step down into uh, its own video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free, post them in the comments. Uh, I'm very open to help people out as best I can. And uh, with that, 
I'm going to say thank you to everyone like I always do. I really do appreciate all the likes and the subscribers. And be on the lookout. I'm going to have more calibration videos coming soon. So with that, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.